You're going to have to repeat that. All right, go. Uh, no civilized hotel should be without a mini bar. Like, we just had to do the the most trailer park show. No, but all right. So you said that, and then I was like, do we not have enough booze? Please, uh, please, Brian, for the audience, because we're audio only for this podcast, explain our hall <laughs> right now. Okay, well, from the, from the open bar... Uh, somebody was nice enough to give me a vodka soda. Okay. Uh, you were nice enough to uh, <clears throat> buy two draft beers, IPAs. Two stash I IPAs. Yep. Uh, and uh, uh, I have a, a Estrella. Uh, uh, yeah, some kind of light beer or whatever. Yeah. Um, and just in case, I bought four Cayman Jack margaritas <laughs> because they're in cans and could fit in my pocket. <laughs> so basically <laughs> we're both the freshman <laughs> like <laughs> freshman roommates who don't know how much alcohol is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're just, we just grabbed whatever we could from the party and ran back to our room. All I know is like after the fucking day we had, Oh Christ, we came home and I was just like, there's no mini bar here. And the open bar isn't for an hour. <laughs> and so I just walked like two miles. Um, I, uh, I actually, uh, and we'll, we'll explain more. We'll unpack more of this uh, as we go along. But, <laughs> but at one point, I just like, I need to scam. And I saw there's a convention center. I'm wearing a badge that doesn't match the convention center. I wonder if I could get in. Wait, you just walked to the convention center? I, I actually that was like the last stop. That was when uh, I walked. I walked around all the developing hotels in the area. Yeah, uh, and then I realized I had to take shit, and and I was like, convention center. I wonder if it's any good. And I was like, will they let me in? I was like, let's find out. Yeah. Uh, turns out, hey boss, <laughs> still, yeah, still works. Hey boss. I need to use your shitter. <laughs> no, I, no, 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 ex, no explanation. Uh, just, just sort of, just sort of like, just tap. Just went shitter. <laughs> shitter. <laughs> shitter. Uh, yeah. It turns out they were having a food convention. Oh, what kind of food? Uh, all kinds of food. Didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Like franchises. Oh. Of, uh, uh, like, uh, like. Did you get uh, a little meatball? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. They were all shutting down. Like, oh, that, on top of that bonus points. It was already over. Gotcha. And it was closing down. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just like, hey, man, I'm just, look, I'm just here for the thing. And, it, and it, whatever. It turns out didn't even matter. You want to know what's in. not closed down? Uh, <laughs> we're getting into it. I see. <laughs> boy, boy, did I learn some shit today. <laughs> the U.S. Southern border. So for those of you who are unaware, we are in McAllen, Texas right now. It is a border town. And uh, we are here at the largesse of the Americans for Prosperity Foundation uh, it is, I think, in its purest sense, a junket, yeah. a, a, a self-selected group of media and influencers and uh, uh, various well, different officials are all given a tour of the southern border and given various levels of expertise. So, uh, number one, I... Oh man, riding the wave of imposter syndrome. I was going to say this is probably the, the 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 time where you can actually tell the most uh uh of of your story of realizing like as I'm kibitzing with the New York Post reporter and the Newsmax host uh of uh, uh and Heaton is off talking with the policy wonks about border stuff. I'm going to guess that Brian finds himself saying why here? <laughs> well, <laughs> Why, Brian? <laughs> on, on top of that, I got into the elevator and twice between the time I picked up my badge that says, all it says is media, Brian Brushwood. Yeah. And two people flinched. They both were, they, they said, whoa, media. Well, I'll watch out for you. And I was like, what? Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> and on top of that, um, uh, they were kind enough to, let Bonnie come as well, because I, I brought up the fact that I was like, you know, you know, Bonnie and I got married down there and she grew up in the area. Yes. She would probably know 
an awful lot about this yeah. and, and, and everything. So and, Bonnie, and, Bonnie's father worked in McAllen. Yes. And which is lived the, like the, 10 minutes away. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, Bonnie's dad ran the Luby's cafeteria in McAllen later moved to McAllen. So I've only known the first time I ever met my future in-laws yeah. was when they were living in McAllen. Gotcha. And the guy who ran the tour uh, said he lives in uh, Edinburgh. And I'm like, Edinburgh High School, I did like five fundraisers there uh, for, for 800 students at, at a time. Yeah. You know, it was like, it was, it was the biggest, most money making uh, 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 fundraiser thing that I did in the early days of magic and all that stuff. And, and so I was like, Oh, I wonder how different it's going to be. And then we land and it's like, looks exactly the same, it's the same <laughs> town. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, uh, uh, but meanwhile, one thing that they were really, uh, I don't want to say coy. Uh, and I think this was part of what made it so intriguing is uh, oh, uh, just to catch up the, the body part of the story. Um, uh, there's like, uh, well, we just don't know how many seats there are on the bus. Uh, and there came this moment where it was like, um, could she be your production assistant? And I'm like, you mean take all the pictures? And they're, they're like, yeah. Is that why she's obsessed with taking pictures? Yeah. Gotcha. She was okay. my production assistant. Okay. <laughs> Cause she was like really dialed in on taking pictures, like more so than I've ever known Bonnie to want to take pictures. This was to keep up appearances because she was oh, the not production even keep assistant. up appearances. I think it's because she actually wanted to do the job that she was being brought gotcha. in to do. Okay, right? okay you okay. know, yeah. Uh, and and meanwhile, it's like she has the privileged situation of like fucking. I grew up in this, you know, in this yeah. area. Like uh, I'm just here for the nostalgia vibes, and I might, you know, Brian is doing work and that he's trying to understand the difference between an H2A visa and an H2B visa. Yes. <laughs> you know, Brian is trying to learn how, how he will provide any value whatsoever in this world. To the organization <laughs> that has brought him here. <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. So body was like, I can provide value to Brian. Pictures. <laughs> yes. Picture. So she, yeah, A picture. But, uh, yeah, no. Uh, imposter syndrome all day long. <laughs> When did you feel it the most? Um, the and, and, and to season your answer, I will say I had no imposter syndrome oh, at yeah. all. Like this, this felt more like being amongst media people. Like it felt like normally in my situation, having been in things like this, it's a bunch of media people rolling their eyes at like, can you believe these people are paying for us to do this thing let's talk shop about media stuff uh well, and, and and for well for me it was uh uh just wondering like look i mean i uh, i got some okay reach for an independent creator yeah mm -hmm. um uh is this a modern rogue story i was gonna is say it, though this for your for your outlet story for your outlets <laughs> i don't know how you fit in <laughs> the the uh uh is this, uh, either, saying, uh, is this why saying, the border needs to be tightened or why we need to create new legal pathways to immigration, which were the main two thrusts of this last 24 hours? Well, and 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 to to the credit of the people who are running, you know, this 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 junket, it's like um, I was like, well, like they refused to give even a hint of what they wanted uh, from me. They said, all we want you to do, uh, all we're trying to do. Show up and be you. Yes. Yes. And then, uh, uh, and I'm like, I don't even know what these people's positions are. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, and so. Which you weren't, so you weren't familiar with AFP no, or, I, I, or, or, I don't or the attention. Coke, yeah. the, you, the, 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 the coke to puss. Uh, yes, correct. Uh, I, I know that, I know that uh, uh, team, team blue hates the Coke team and team red hates the George Soros team. That's all I know about that. And even then it's like the, the Cokes have kind of been outdated. Well, number one, it's just Coke. Now there's only there it yeah. used to be the Coke brothers. Now yeah. it's, now it's a, uh, it's, it's just Mario or Luigi. I don't know which one. Charles now, it's, is, uh, but now it's diet Coke. Only diet is misspelled for dead. 
Jesus. No. I thought we were doing a we're comedy just, podcast we're just, here. We're just, not, we're just not going to include this podcast uh, to let them know on what to listen to. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, hey, <laughs> but, but, uh, no, um, <laughs> Uh, uh, but yeah, I, I think even then the, 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 the Coke machine is kind of outdated as, as a villain on the left. Cause they have not been a straight down the line right. conservative organization for eight years at this point, nearly a decade. Well, and so my journey, not knowing, okay, what do they want to convince me of? Um, uh, and we start and, and just everything's about the wall and they're all like, Oh, this part here, this is George W. Bush's wall. And oh, this section here, that's uh, Trump's wall. And, mm-hmm. and look how much taller it is. And uh, and I'm like, hey, are, are we just fucking celebrating this, this building that a wall, the wall thing? The wall's great. Yeah. yeah. And then and then and then and it's then all movie about gonna be about walls, Quentin. But, but, but then he subverts it by saying, uh, you'll notice it's all you know that brown except for this one section. They painted it black so it would be a better photo op for Trump and make him look good. Uh, that was dumb. Yeah. And I'm like, so we don't like the wall. Uh, and then, uh, but then uh, what What we find out and and in, in little fits and starts, act one, it's basically three acts, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, act one That's is- That's today. Today, this, yeah. this this experience, yeah, yeah. So Act One is uh, talk uh, showing different sections of the wall, and I was like, so it's good that Abbott put razor wire, or is it bad that Abbott put razor wire? Yeah. And I'm like, are you allowed to swim in the Rio Grande or not? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, and all yeah, again, true to their word, uh, there 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 was. Razor no. wire. Hey, oh, well, there was razor. You know, we got to see. There was a Rio Grande. The the that's right. Um. Uh. But but uh, we got to learn things that I didn't know. Uh. Like here's a reason you can't build a wall all the way across things. They're like, this is all private property. Ninety five percent of all of Texas is private property. Now yeah. now I'm doing the the junket thing, which is uh telling you things I learned. Yes. You know, uh, yes. which is why people put you on junkets. Yeah. But but. Uh, and I'm like, how do I feel about eminent domain? I don't like it much. No. <laughs> and also every bit of the wall is not on the border because the border is the river. Mm-hmm. So that means you have to eat up other people's lands. So I'm like, I wouldn't like that. No. <laughs> so I'm like, so we're against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we hear from a uh, uh, professional Border Patrol, uh, you know, uh, retired people, uh, they explain all the zones and whatnot. And he points out little, th- like somebody says, why is there a blimp up there? Yeah. And they're all like, well, because uh, take a look at this twisty river. Uh, you know, as the poets Duran Duran put it, mm-hmm. uh, just like that river twisting through the dusty land. Yeah. They're talking about the Rio Grande. Yes. <laughs> and as a result. Let's say we put cameras here. It would take 10 cameras to cover one all, all the All the bends going hither and yon. Right. Yeah. So, so we put this thing up. Now, meanwhile, this blimp over in Yuma would be stupid <laughs> because it would not you can, allow us. You can put a flat line of sight camera and yes. that would work. It right. does work. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, you know what? Actually, a real potent. Uh, I don't know if I should talk out of school. There, there's somebody special. Uh, uh, in my family who spent many, many years uh, as an undocumented immigrant and married uh, somebody special in my family. Um, yeah. And, uh, and occasionally he would get kicked out and it's like, well, how the fuck do you get back in? Right. And the story that I was told was like, well, he just goes surfing and just surfs way out and just surfs back on the other side of the San Diego border. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, uh, there's some slideshow and, the, and they show. You know, yeah. The, they were showing a bunch of slides on how different the border is. Right. And, and then, one of them <laughs> is a literal wall that goes into the water and then ends about at some point. Tw- about yeah. 20 feet into the yeah. water. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know. Uh, uh, I learned I learned a lot. Uh, then I guess Act Two was the one that that I was the most ignorant of, which is just how stupid our um, uh, it. It appeared to be the story of somebody who um, tried very hard to play by the rules, but learned it was a rigged game. <laughs> uh, and uh, while he was playing by the rules of legal uh, seasonal work for agriculture, uh, uh, a, a, he uh, and, and was providing a safe environment for seasonal. You're people. talking about the speaker. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Sorry. The, the presentation. Gotcha. That, that there was, was there was a presentation. Yeah. 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 Sorry. There was a, a, a peach farmer uh, yeah. uh, who who does seasonal employment, legal right. seasonal employment, and uh, uh, and is a boy is he rankled by how annoying it is to do seasonal legal <laughs> like employment for right. people, and uh, that's what I learned. Uh, uh, all the stuff that you know, smarter lawyers know than me. Uh, and then uh, uh, act, which brought us, and that was act. that was probably the most nakedly uh, political. Like that was yes. the most prescriptive of like like here's charts and graphs. Go government about how government be overreaching, yeah, and uh, 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 shouldn't like. All right, you know it was prescriptive because you could have just taken the transcript and like run it through chat GPT as read as John Stossel. Yes. And, exactly. and it would have been, like, it would have been perfect. This man's just trying to run a farm on 6,000 <laughs> acres of Atlanta land, but government wants him to <laughs> obey new regulations. Like nobody can farm if it's hotter than 85 degrees, <laughs> 85 degrees is, is that hot? <laughs> no, no, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> well, if it's not all that hot, then how is anyone ever going to eat a peach? <laughs> he he builds beds at eight thousand five hundred dollars <laughs> a piece, and they stay for months at a time during peak season, and then they go back home to their families. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> the government must be thrilled. After all, they get an opportunity to keep an eye on everybody. And there's a 97% success rate of them going home. So how does he get rewarded? <laughs> uh, all of my prices have gone up 70%. Well, that doesn't seem good. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, and it, it, there's a little hunk in there where it's like, hey, y'all motherfuckers do know that there's a law that says the very first American who applies, I have to give them the job first. I yeah, live, he, he can't. I live in a town of 600 people, two hours from anywhere interesting. Yes. I have gotten three applicants and I've hired all three. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. To be somebody that has those visas, uh, you can't even ask a, an American citizen, an interview question. You can, you can give them the contract and say, have you read the contract? Do you believe that you can fulfill the contract? <laughs> That's it. And in the last five years, according to his presentation, he has hired the same three dudes. Uh, yes. There are three dudes that have showed up the that last keep five showing years up for the seasonal work. Yeah. And, and, and that's that. But uh, yeah, that was, that was the most, uh, the most on brand, uh, uh, for 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 that, but then you 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 were leading into Act Three, Act Three, which was woof. Act Three is, and now we're gonna go to uh uh, uh Saint something or others, uh because uh legally, when uh somebody's process, like uh, I guess the rules are if you are coming from Mexico and it's like, hey, where are you from, Mexico? It's like, get out of here, guy. Like within an hour. It's a like Mexican national. You can be processed and then uh, sent back it, it, like in hours. Yeah. Right. Uh, but but if you're like, they I have a seeking, slip and slide. I'm I, I'm seeking asylum from China or hey, uh, Haiti or whatever. You yeah. Know? Uh, then it's like, well, now you have to they, uh, they can only hold you for what? 72 hours. Is that what it was? Yeah. Something yeah. like that. And then after that, they they, they schedule a. Uh, we'll we'll get around to hearing your case, 
And so there's these like, are these are asylum seekers. And without getting too into kind into, of the, into, the weeds into of, another of, show of, yeah. of, of what we were talking about, I, I have an episode coming out on PX3. Heaton's got an episode that he's working on. So like, trust me, you'll have a lot of information on this soon. So, but but uh, uh, for asylum seekers, there has been a lot of them, and they eventually get released to NGOs, non governmental organizations. One of which, one of the more prominent, is Catholic Charities, and that's where we went today. Right, and so we had uh, uh, we had to sign some things saying, "Hey, don't take pictures." Like, yeah, sure, sure, sure. And then also they're like. Hey, uh, they let us do this because we actually volunteer. So we're going to volunteer. And that was when I, I thought to myself, oh, I'm worried about my money. And what if uh, I have to look in the face of actual, the fuck am I, some dipshit on the internet whose whole shtick is to fucking walk into a bar like yeah. he deserves for other people to buy his beers. It's, and it's then hard. Deceive. It was, yeah. I, I, uh, uh, we've talked about it. I, I have anxiety. Uh, I, I realized I was having a full on panic attack and nothing made me happier than when they told us work. And I was like, yes, I can fill this bag with chips. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to look into the eyes of people that I mean, and look, the majority of the people that were at the facility today, because it turns over every day. They don't stay in, in that area for more than two days. Yeah. Uh the majority of them were Haitian. And it's like, uh, we're in McAllen, Texas. Go ahead, get on a Google map and and tell me how far. Haiti is. Yeah. Tell, tell me just how easy that trip was. It ain't exactly, <laughs> it ain't, it ain't exactly going from the living room to the bathroom. And then, and then you're overhearing stories of like, uh, uh, well, I guess the most difficult were um, the Ukrainian refugees. And I was like, that's who now? very far. Yeah. <laughs> to the southern border. <laughs> to, to seek asylum in the United States. Like, yeah, like there, there, there's a mo like, or you just have like the steamed hams reaction. Of, like, <laughs> We're like, are you crazy? <laughs> to the southern border <laughs> of the United States. <laughs> uh, in the middle of summer. <laughs> but you're looking in the eyes of these Haitian like families where uh, uh, the the road you have to go on to get here is another total like just horror show yeah, journey. Yeah, there's there, there, there's a dude who's here that is like specializes in human trafficking, and uh, he speaks uh, Spanish. Uh, uh, not the actual. He doesn't specialize in conducting the human trafficking. No, he specializes, he specializes in, in, yeah. in understanding yeah. and aiding the victims of human trafficking. Uh, and and he got on the uh, PA as we were all leaving. We're all just kind of shell shocked. And he's like, Oh, I talked to a few people. Uh, uh, this is the story of uh, 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 this woman. She was on the way. I can't, I can't remember the gap, but there's like a gap. Oh, there, there's some kind of lawless no man's land. Basically. Yeah. That, that it's just like uh, it's, 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 just, just picture Mordor. <laughs> it's just <Basically>. Mordor, yeah, <laughs> with roving rapist Imagine gangs. If, if Mordor was Narcos, <laughs> yes, like that's <laughs> that's essentially what like like this this is. It's just a bunch of like uh, what you're thinking, yes, but <laughs> with children and money, yeah. like that's whatever you're thinking. Just you know, just dial it down a little bit worse. Yes, exactly. And and uh, so he's like, uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, extorted here, threatened with rape here, thankfully was able to, you know, uh, by pledging allegiance to the Sinolo uh, uh, cartel, able to make it and then eventually got to this this place. And it's like you look at that and you're like, wow, this is. I'm very lucky that I'm looking at you in this situation and. I, I hope to be able to more accurately understand this problem. I mean, it was it was you, Justin, who introduced me to that phrase from Blazing Saddles, where he says, "We got to keep our phony baloney jobs." <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, no, it's humbling. It's humbling. It, it, deeply, it, it, deeply, it's, 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 it's extraordinarily humbling, and and it it does humanize an issue that gets. Like there was a lot today that made me wonder why I, you know, we got to the wall, right? 
and this is wall that was built by Abbott, but it looks identical to Trump. He like Trump stopped exactly. when he when he was not president anymore so he's not allowed he can't just call it in from mar-a-lago and say keep doing it build the wall like so that gets stopped when biden comes in right and so abbott is like fuck it all the materials here all all spend texas money although the abbott it. the abbott wall was like huh this looks like the trump wall only with high security cameras that'll be very useful to <laughs> figure out uh who's approaching and so on yeah <laughs> So, uh, you know, I, you look at the wall and you're like, why do people get emotional about this? Like, what, what, why have I been in conversations where somebody brings up a wall, like, and, and, and it gets into a fight and like, I, I, I just, I'm, I'm like totally disconnected from like, like, no, it's just, it's a border. And so there's a barrier to the border because you don't want everybody coming over the border at the same time. You want to direct them to ports of entry, which is what we're doing now. And and then you go to this Catholic charities thing and you're like, oh, people don't under that. They're not emotional enough about this. Right. Like we're, we're being emotional about like, like metal, like in the desert. And, and it's not even the desert. There's an RV community right behind it. Well, and like, also, I don't think we saw, and, and this is a subject of mockery to some people, but I don't think we saw a single segment of the wall that was longer than a mile or so long. Yeah. Like, like, and, and then, uh, meanwhile, this, you know, guy who's deputy, whatever, uh, on border patrol for whatever the seven regions are, he's like, Oh, former chief of the Yuma district yeah uh, he's like Chris he's like Clem. he's like yeah you don't build a wall to keep people out you build a wall to slow them down so that we can interdict uh, and inter yeah yeah exactly uh and uh and, and like he, he was like he was like uh city areas two walls <laughs> right like right, like, right. like uh, build two walls because right, if, if, because if, if, if you if you ali ali oxen free right uh, two, like you can you can be gone if, 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 yeah however fast you can run 200 yards is how far you can disappear yeah and, and so as a result uh two walls uh rural areas uh eh. maybe maybe a wall just slow them down a bit of uh, of uh, but meanwhile like there's giant chunks of where on the Rio Grande valley there's a 200 foot cliff and it's like we don't see a lot of intruders don't there. need a wall <laughs> uh and then uh at big just bend, spray paint wall <laughs> at big bend national park it takes like uh at best if you're on foot carrying illegal narcotics or whatever uh seven days if you're hustling to get through and it's like it's what I had never, I'd never thought about a wall, not as a, an actual, you know, blockade, but instead just as a time slowed down. Yeah. I mean, the, the, that's, that's the reality of all this is that it, it which by the way, uh, the junk, it worked, it worked. <laughs> we learned. <laughs> I mean, it certainly worked in that I got to see things and understand them on a level uh, uh, that totally confirmed my priors. I was always right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, no, it was, it was, it was crazy, especially the Catholic charities thing. It's like, you just walk in and you imagine, man, you've just walked through hell, literal hell. The worst thing that most people have ever seen in their lives. These people probably saw some version of it. If we're going to assume murder and rape are among the worst things that you can ever see. These are things that happen all the time when these people are, are are moving from one place to another, this long journey. And then at the end of it, you have some element of respite where people are, are giving you a place to sleep, a comfortable air conditioned place to sleep and food. And then Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert <laughs> Young are looking at you. We're like, Hey, uh, hey. Who, wants, <laughs> who wants a churro? <laughs> who wants a bag of chips? Uh, well, and, and uh, because that, Brian and Justin are so visibly and emotionally <laughs> shaken by it. I'm just shattering <laughs> chips in my hand and dropping them all over the fucking floor. And Brian's like, can I hold the bag open for you? And I'm like, no, I need something under my control that works. <laughs> <laughs> well, and uh, that was the interesting thing too, uh, is, is going in, not knowing what the messaging was going to be. And they were very clear. It's like, we're not here to tell you what to think about Shit. anything. Yeah. It's like, we just want you to see it. 
and and think <laughs> and uh and like half the messaging was do you like walls oh touch the wall i'm like do, do we like the walls they're like also they don't stop anything <laughs> you could walk around them and uh and it's like oh okay and then and and then it's like uh uh, do you like immigrants? Uh, I don't uh, know, something jobs or whatever. And, and then it's like, uh, what if it was very, very simple and didn't take seven fucking years to get your hearing to maybe yeah. do it well, legally? Well, I think that's, yeah, that's, that's the, the, that's the, the blatantly political with, with, part. Without, yeah, yeah. Without us getting too far into the, yeah. in, in, into the political weeds, uh, we have a broken asylum situation right now. And uh, uh, again, my, uh, other places where we can, uh, oh, it was wild. We can talk uh, about uh, it. The one thing I did notice like, like was after the shell shock of, of just of serving. And by the way, I was like, oh, thank God they've given us an opportunity to. So, yeah. So, so I mean, just, just, serve, just, just, just serve. For, so people can be clear. <laughs> we hear about Catholic charities, this specific office and what they do, how many people have come in and out. Uh, uh, just to give you a sense of how many people, how many different kinds of nationalities have been to the border recently over the last few years, there is an area where people can go and get medicine uh, and they have written in English, the one that I could read, uh, uh, we will not prescribe for you. You must tell us what medicine you want. Basically saying that they're not going to diagnose your problem. You can't right. just say my, my, uh, you know, I have a cough. You have to say, I want Robitussin. Right. 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 Uh, and in that message was written in seven languages. Yes. Including Cyrillic. Right. Uh, uh, so it was, it was, you know, insane. Anyway, so we go there, we talk uh, uh, to the people and then they're like, oh, okay, well, part of what you have to do, even if it's a nominal amount which is what we did even if it's performative or whatever yeah, you have to you know help yes and so uh brian and i i don't know what it was wait, about both wait, of us immediately hey, we're yeah. like to the kitchen i'll do <laughs> kitchen <laughs> shit like whatever they're they're all like we encourage you to talk to them uh and it's, and i'm just like oh goodness uh yeah. uh uh, can, can, can I, I clean the toilet? Uh, yes, Where's right. Your like, shittiest what, toilet. What is the lowest status job I can do? I love cleaning piss. <laughs> Boy, do I love cleaning piss. I don't even need a towel. I'll do yeah. it with my hey, shirt. And hey, by the way, uh, I want you to picture Andrew Heaton in uh, his dapper finest, uh, uh, just just on a conveyor belt, hustling boxes, going, come on, we got to move on to this. <laughs> like, like, he visibly sweating afterwards. Yeah. So Brian and I went back to go make uh, uh, lunch packs for, for, for folks and for children, uh, for children, you know, for the children, you know, who were playing, you know, for kids, what, for, they were watching Paw Patrol and, and, and playing musical chairs. Other volunteers are playing musical chairs. And it's like, these are the people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, so, um, anyway, aside from that, Mrs. Lincoln, how was the play? <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, shouts out to Bonnie, who was like, there was, there was a few people who like visibly were shook and Bonnie's just like, Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, she was checking Bo in. Bonnie was like a, a school nurse. It was, it was, it was fascinating. Um, uh, Tell us hot goss about McAllen. The uh, <laughs> um, young Brian Brushwood comes motoring into McAllen. When was the first time that happened? Uh, man, I would have been nineteen or twenty when I met the in-laws. And uh, uh, dude, I mean, those high pants times. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. high pants, long hair and a ponytail, yep. uh, tucked in, tucked in, tucked in <laughs> like fucking 105 pounds soaking wet. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, man. <laughs> uh, uh, no, it was it was. Uh, wait, what's, for whatever reason, in my mind, you're in a Trans Am. <laughs> <laughs> you've got you've got the uh, fucking Chemical Brothers playing. It, it, you're uh, in a, you're yeah, in. Yes, yes to that. Uh, uh, it was a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Yep. Laredo. Get busy, job. That was Crystal Method, but whatever. There we go. But, yeah, but um, yeah, man. Uh, uh, it, 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 it has, uh, McKellen, I was struck going back. I mean, it's been over, I don't know, almost two decades since I've been back there. Um, I, I didn't really notice what, what Orlando vibes it Wait, had. No, 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 no. Bring me back. I want to know the first time that you came down here. What, what was, what was the reasoning? What oh, was, Oh, uh, were, were you, I, I, so I, you I, had, you had, you had been dating Bonnie. This was, yeah. this is like the first big oh, meeting oh, of the I, in-laws. Oh, I knew I was going to be judged. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I feel so like you came down with Bonnie or was she already down here and you met her? Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I we drove down together. Okay. Right. And, uh, and then we come and in. That's, that's it. It's a five and a half hour ride. Yep. Yep. Thereabouts. And, um, uh, the, uh, you know, uh, 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 Bonnie's got Duchess, uh, our, her Dalmatian at the time. Okay. And, you know, and I'm all like, all I know is that I think it was a Thanksgiving thing maybe, but all I know uh, is, is that I'm about to meet, you know, the, yeah, the parents, meet, meet the parents. Right? Yeah. And, How and, long had you been dating? Um, no, I don't know. Let's make up a number of six months or okay. a, under a year. Though. Oh, way too early to. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, um, uh, no, that's like six months is like, it's going good. Yeah. Let's, let's give it, give it a little 21 skidoo. Uh, yeah, th- there was one story and, and I hate to convince, I, I hate to confess this in public, but, um, uh, uh, later I heard that it was the moment that I instantly won initial approval from Bonnie's mom. Oh, from the mom, uh, which was, uh, we're coming in and we're talking pleasantly mm-hmm. and, uh, uh, you know, Duchess is running around all mm-hmm. crazy in the house. Lovely whatever. weather we're having. Uh, yes, mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, have Duch- you read about building seven? Uh, and then du- Duchess, <laughs> the Dalmatian comes in and just goes, uh, one of those like big on dog sloppy, very thirsty, glob, 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 it has the entire bowl of water. Yep. And, 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 you know, not breaking contact with uh, Bonnie's mom's eyes. I'm nodding and listening and continuing the conversation. And I just lean over and pick up the bowl and then I refill Fill it, it and put it, and back, put it down. back down and continue the conversation. And Bonnie's and, mom's and, like, this one (laughs) and uh, and uh, there are natural skills at play at that time i wasn't trying to be manipulative i was trying to be just on best behavior yeah yeah, yeah. but uh uh but she brought that up multiple times like like stock like that's when i knew (laughs) yeah uh maybe this one maybe this one how was uh the reaction with the dad for the first time because because i've i've met bonnie's dad a few times now and even you know, in his in the, his in his in his older age, he is he's a stern like like if you look up Texas dad in like the dictionary, like I think like Bonnie's dad comes up. Uh the moment I remember most with Bonnie's dad was um, you know, mainly being afraid of him. And then uh rightly. <laughs> yes, yes, rightly. Uh, and then uh 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 there's this moment like you know, when I realize, oh, I think I'm gonna, and I'm still in fucking college senior year. And I, and I see two paths, one in which Bonnie and I, you know, Bonnie goes off somewhere and maybe we do, maybe we don't. And she's off at grad school and something. Yeah. Uh, And then I was like, and then I thought about, oh, but what if we bumped into each other at the electric lounge? How weird would that be? And I was just like, I just, you, if, if you're serious and go for it. And so I decided in my heart to marry her and uh, on that trip. Uh, no, 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 no. This is later. Uh, 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 I mean, we only dated, we, I guess we dated two years, uh, uh, but it was during college. Right. Yeah. And I'm like, well, it seems crazy to get married right out of college. Yeah. But I was like, 
But also, or the average American relationship uh, ten uh, years <laughs> earlier. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, but 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 on the other hand, I'm like, oh, Christ, what do you want to start all over again? You know, it's like <laughs> <laughs> I'm used up. I'm yeah. 21. No. <laughs> well, it, I, I just knew. Like, oh, it was a lot of work to get this far. Would I ever want to start this again? <laughs> How many times had you met her parents by the time that you made that decision? Um, oh, I would say maybe four to eight total. And that was mostly coming down here or them uh, coming uh, up? about half and half, because like, I think I think they came up for something or other. Some yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and, uh, and so I'm like, yeah, I think I'm going to ask her to marry. And then, and, and so, uh, 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 Bonnie had previously dropped a, uh, a hint that, uh, her parents were old fashioned enough that you had to ask. So I called, uh, her mom. <laughs> 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 let's say let's strategize on how i fucking put this to death <laughs> and uh and i and i was like uh uh liz you know i uh, it's been really great and i'm about to graduate college and after i graduate college um uh with your permission i'd like to ask you know bonnie uh, to marry me and uh you know, it's, it won't be fat. It won't be immediately, you know, because I have to establish myself. But 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 uh, Bonnie strongly hinted that I should ask permission. And she was like, oh, she was like, oh, it would be so wonderful. But. <laughs> she says there's another phone call you're gonna need oh, to yeah. make <laughs> yeah oh you're not getting all the easy <laughs> and so and i'm like okay it's, uh, the number is nine yeah. times <laughs> <laughs> and so i call so you do it immediately uh uh, uh or do you give some time in between the oh, two I, phone calls? oh, oh i'm gonna fucking rip this band-aid right you're like okay off. fuck it fuck i'm it, like, fuck like it. let's go hard enough let's go let's go time. yeah here we go and so and so uh uh i i dialed the number and uh, and i'm like uh uh, uh by uh, the way I, for all of bonnie's father's uh credits of which i i'm sure there's a galaxy worth of stars loquaciousness <laughs> and tolerance for bullshit is yeah not among them is one of the absent spaces amongst a million glittering dots right like, so uh is like it's, it's he's like, a man of few words uh phone rings and it's just like uh, you know, so yeah. Hi, hello, may I speak to the manager, Butch Sims? They're okay, call him at work. Oh man, I'm getting this. I'm I'm ripping this bandaid right off. <laughs> and is he still at the restaurant? Oh yeah, no, he's still he's still managing the. Loonies. Do you remember what time of day? Uh, I would say probably around two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> okay, not so, terrible, not terrible. Yeah, so it's after lunch rush. This is. This is like uh, uh uh this is a good dead time to call. Yes, and so uh so so I I. Uh, I'm like, hi, uh, uh, Butch. Um, uh, I, uh, uh, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I just, my spine just <laughs> folded in half listening to this. And I was like, I oh was like, God. I was like, uh, well, Liz suggested I call because, uh, well, as you know, body right. Liz suggested I call. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even you, you're blaming her for why this conversation is happening and so and so i'm like well as you know bonnie and i have been dating for a while and i'm about to graduate college so i i would i would like with your blessing to ask her to marry me what follows is 10 thousand years of <laughs> silence <laughs> and everything in me wants to fill the void yep. but you know you can't because I, I i i like i'm like i'm like i'm like nope i'm gonna i'm gonna prove to him that i'm gonna be the kind of man who yep. can treat his daughter mm -hmm. right 
And then, and then finally, on the 10,001st year, uh, he responds, well, another few years pass. <laughs> <laughs> and then he says, of course you have my blessing. But if you hurt her, your ass is mine. <laughs> so he gave you the full text. Oh, dad. he gave me. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. And I was yeah. just like. Well, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I'm I'm glad you respected me enough to intimidate me. I, I still believe I've never I've maybe hugged him once or twice in the we passed our silver anniversary. Yeah. And I believe I've hugged him twice and everything else has been a handshake. Yeah. <laughs> it is uh uh no, he is he is like look it up in the dictionary. <laughs> uh like there, there's a reason that that uh, 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 I I've rewatched Lonesome Dove seven times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he is like a playing card you you get with a rifle. <laughs> <Yeah>. like, <laughs> that's like that is that is that dude. Yeah, he is he is he is written about. That's amazing. That I can't uh, believe uh, for uh, as long as we've been talking bullshit, we've never gotten to that story. I can't believe it either. <laughs> uh, uh, can I can I bring it? Uh, a home on this hypothetical well okay. not even a hypothetical a, a, a preparatory okay because now you have daughters fuck you fuck you have you have you prepared for how you will handle are you going to leave that gigantic pregnant pause or are you going to rush and understand like oh, okay well i know what it was like to be in that situation and so i'll make it more comfortable I just now realized I'm going to have to have a conversation with Bonnie about, about what setting expectations with our daughters on uh on you beat no but this is uh, this isn't about the daughter this isn't even really about Bonnie this is about how intimidating you want to be in these situations and in the situation where it matters most, where it's, you were okay. Where, so, so let let me pitch this to you, and you can tell me if if uh, this good. tracks. I love this is a whole new avenue for me. <laughs> <laughs> Intimidation <laughs> consultant, <laughs> Justin Robert Young. Well, it's it's tough because um, you know, uh, there kind of already is a level of intimidation because of fandom, like. Okay. Yeah, like all of Josie's friends, like uh, Penny, is completely off the grid. Like, like, like she's she's at Ruby Ridge. Like, uh, fucking, <laughs> I dare you to find out who my dad is. You yeah. know, <laughs> yeah. Uh, she plays the character of Dad's daughter on the internet, but outside of that, get fucked. No, yeah, <laughs> she's on. She's in discords for Vocaloid groups. Yes. That exactly. No English right? speaker has ever fucking heard of. And <laughs> so like th there's no cultural connection. No one's going to be like, like, like Brushwood of the Sam school of the like, Sam school. Brushwoods. Yeah. yeah. Like no one's going to do that. But Josie, Josie travels in more uh, conventional water. Yeah. Uh, 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 Josie knows she's a Kennedy <laughs> and, and knows that. Well, she has it has to be... been on Disney plus because of it. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And knows that she has to be on best behavior. But as a result, all of her friends, like the moment I detect the slightest hint of being impressed or geeking out, I'm like, anyway, I have lots of work to do in this locked office. Bye. <laughs> You know, gotcha. Um, because and and uh, uh, it also by proxy makes Josie a little more intimidating. So she's had to do a lot of learning how to you know be self deprecating because and that kind kids of stuff. At, as soon as they start understanding what social standing is now realizing oh well Josie has a famous dad. Right. I, I might not yeah. understand and even why. though it's not real famous, but no, yeah, but who yeah. cares? But no, but right. for but them, to them it yeah, might have, yeah. you're, you're fucking Michael Jackson, right? Like, like you are, you're, you're more famous than their dad is. Yeah. Uh, so are we going to talk about this? What me fucking Michael Jackson. <laughs> That's like the lowest hanging fruit. <laughs> okay. It's you, you parroted the other day that I used the F word like a comma. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, the, uh, uh, 
uh, yeah, so so she'll be the one. She's the one that, um, you know, I have to kind of make keep sure an eye that, out. Of, well, no, I I think like what, what I would, but I'd be curious as somebody who had to go through that. And by the way, for the record, I called Ashley's dad, and I went over Ashley's head to do it. Oh, you did it. Wait, wait. wait so, well, I don't know if Bonnie knew that I was going to do it. Bonnie didn't know. Oh, no. Ashley didn't want me to do it. If anything, would, would have oh, preferred. Oh, you defied. I defied. Her wishes. I defied Ashley. Holy to shit. To do it. Yeah. Because I was like, look, I, if I'm going to be around this dude for the rest of my life, which is the idea, because yeah. we're getting married. Right. Uh, like, I, I want to make sure we have a good relationship. And so I know if I were in his situation, it would be really nice if a dude called and said, hey, like, is it old fashioned? Is it, you know, right. like, yeah, sure. But whatever you want to assign to it, that's fine. It's a matter of respect. You're walking into somebody's house and saying, hey, I'm going to be here for a while. Here's my number. <laughs> right. 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 And, and not to say that we had a bad relationship, but uh, uh, yeah, I was like, like, no, I'm I'm a, I'm going to do it because I think it would be a good thing to do. And I want to be on his good side. And so I did. And he was not intimidating because he's nice. He, like he's he's a stoner. So like, yeah, he was just like, I was like, hey, I'm going to marry your daughter. And he's like. Cool. <laughs> it's like you you make sure she gets the good stuff yeah or your ass is mine yeah no it was uh, uh, uh i think he might have even he might have even started because technically well no ashley was the second to get she is still the second to get married um but it was her, the youngest daughter had a kid the first time. Anyway, he like immediately started ranking me amongst the other, he's, uh, like, just like, like, like husband slash baby from the worst. <laughs> Yeah. And he's like, 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 I actually get along best with you. And I'm like, all right. I mean, we don't need yeah. to run down other motherfuckers. Um, hey, so I have a proposal. Yeah. Um, boy, has it been a big day. And boy, do you have uh, to get up at 4 a.m.? Yeah. No, um, so we're gonna we're gonna wrap this. But let's make a trade and mm -hmm. we'll make sure that the bones is extra long and we could also and extra it, hard. Uh and and uh actually, we, well, no, we won't. Well, I won't be on the bones this Thursday. So you could do an extra long okay, bones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but 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 also with your Nikki Haley didn't drop out. That was the other thing that happened today that oh, might have totally uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. altered she my didn't entire do week. the one smart thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh uh but 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 if it's okay with you. We'll at least put something extra on the main feed and not behind the paywall or whatever to make up for this know, being yeah. shorter. It's like fifty minutes, you know. It's uh, not. It's not the shortest episode we've ever. Done. I know. I. I. I, I Why I just don't? What this is the thing with look, you where you keep okay, doing this okay. apologizing thing, look, Justin. Today, you and I could not stop working in the kitchen hard enough because we knew just we have crunching phony baloney jobs, crunching all we, of these chips. I, I just, just so <laughs> many chips on the floor because so much value <laughs> to our patrons. We will. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> Patreon.com. We will. We will, we will do it. Uh, uh, yeah, and and look, uh, let this be known. We. Very much appreciate you guys. Uh, uh, there, uh, one might say, maybe in our entire lives, we've never appreciated. There's, our no, there's nothing more. like looking into the eyes of some of the most traumatized, <laughs> horrified people in America. Uh, 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 you know, like realizing, like, holy shit, you have things going pretty fucking good. Uh, so thank you guys so much, and uh, we will be back. Next Soon. Tuesday for two of us. And then, uh, yeah, we'll do uh, uh, Brian. I don't know. Brian will figure out something to do for the bones. Uh, yeah. Also, next week, I've, I got a keynote. Um, it's going to be a keynote. A keynote. Keynote and what? A keynote. Speech. What are you keynoting? Um, it's actually, I'm, I'm you really. You straight connoting? What? You're connoting? Uh, no. That's what cool people who are keynoting just, it's just like what? So when you're out talking to people and yeah. you're just like, yeah, 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 yeah. 
anyway, like I'm going to connote this and they're going to like, be like, what? Like, oh, sorry. This is what keynoters say <laughs> when they're talking about what they're going to connote. Okay. Well, uh, what do you connote? Uh, I'm actually really, really stoked because uh, it'll be, um, uh, uh, you know, the person who's bringing me out, but he's got his nationwide team for uh, his nationwide brand. Mm -hmm. And he just wants me to, he's like, do that marketing talk that we had that time that you and Justin and I were there. Uh, and uh, so it'll be the first time that my job is to just fucking connote connote. Okay. And uh, uh, so, so, uh, but, but uh, I, I probably, it, uh, I'm going to find out tomorrow what time of day it'll be. And it's on we'll Tuesday. Figure. It, it might be. I don't know. I, oh, I have shit. to. Uh, I've been a wee bit distracted today, Justin. Homie, I know exactly what you're talking about. Anyway, St uh, still a great night. <laughs> See you next Tuesday. Shine on, you crazy diamonds.